a free press, meaning a media that is independent of the government, plays a critically important role in the United States, or any democracy for that matter, in providing information to the public about what is happening in government and society more broadly. The press is an indispensable part of a free, open society. This file examines some of the distinct roles played by the press. One of the most important roles played by the media is that of public representative. Most citizens do not get the opportunity to meet directly with our political leaders and interrogate them about how they are serving the public good. In a very real sense, the press acts as a stand-in for the public gaining access to political leaders and asking them questions about the way they are carrying out their public duties. On this slide, we see a rather raucous press conference from the late 1940s with reporters tightly gathered round to ask questions of President Truman. Over the years, presidents have decided to keep the press a little further at bay, with the president usually standing at an elevated podium and the reporters sitting below him. Regardless, by interacting directly with government officials, investigating what's going on in government, and reporting what they find back to the public, the media provides a link between the people and the government. The freedom of the press, guaranteed by the First Amendment, allows for the free flow of information, as reporters are free to track down stories that politicians would rather bury. Bringing information about government op operations to light, whether favorable or unfavorable to those in power, is a critical element for a democratic system in which the people can become informed about how their leaders are representing them. In fact, one of the biggest differences between democracies and authoritarian regimes is that authoritarian systems keep the media under tight control, having them operate essentially as a propaganda organ for those in power. Beyond representing the public, the media also plays a powerful role in agenda setting in American politics and culture. Not without great controversy, the media acts as a signaler of what's important. Of all the many things that are happening in government and society at any given time, the media tend to give a substantial share of coverage to a relatively small number of issues. Metaphorically, the media act as a flashlight, shining their beam to bring a small slice of what was going on in the darkness into the light. It's widely acknowledged that the media plays this role. The controversy lies in how the media chooses to shine its light. Conservatives claim the media is biased, for instance, against President Trump, focusing on a number of scandals swirling around his administration. Liberals argue the media has a conservative bias and that it's largely controlled by a handful of corporate conglomerates that have an interest in maintaining the status quo. I'm not going to be able to settle either of those disputes for you, but I will raise a couple of other agenda-setting biases that are widely recognized by media scholars. For one, as profit-seeking enterprises, the media tends to cover issues they know will attract readers or viewers. This means issues that can be portrayed as sensational human dramas get more coverage than complex issues where the human costs are more diffuse or indirect. The media will also cover issues that are novel or unique, and then when the novelty of the issue wears off, they will move on to something else. Advocates for any particular issue struggle to keep their issue on the public radar long enough to have an impact before media attention dies down. The charts on this slide demonstrate that struggle in regards to the issue of sexual harassment, but also highlight one way in which social media might be overcoming the natural tendency of the media to move on from an issue after a short while. The light blue line shows the traditional media cycle, with a huge spike in stories mentioning sexual harassment around the time of the Harvey Weinstein scandal in 2017, and then a rapid decline in such stories. Mind you, sexual harassment has been a long-standing and ongoing public issue in our society, regardless of whether a high-profile case makes it into the news to generate spikes in coverage. What's interesting in this case is how the Me Too movement has given a second life to media focus on sexual impropriety by framing the issue in a new way, with the collective power of women telling their stories through social media, giving new attention to the issue, and providing a new frame for reporters to write stories about this issue. 
the media also plays the role of common carrier. This means they act as a conduit for public officials to directly address the public. By covering things such as speeches, press conferences, or campaign rallies, the media offer the public the opportunity to hear directly from political leaders. But one trend in recent years has been for media outlets to be less willing to air the unfiltered speech of politicians. For example, during the 1968 presidential campaign, the average nightly news broadcast aired 43 second clips of the presidential candidates speaking. This is not a long amount of time to hear from a public official, but it's at least long enough to carry a major passage of a speech. However, by 2012, the average soundbite of President Obama and his opponent, Mitt Romney, was only seven seconds. It's hard to convey much useful information to the public in such a short clip. Finally, the media acts as a watchdog over the political system. A vigilant press that actively seeks out information about wrongdoing by public officials is one of society's best safeguards against the abuse of political power. While this role of the media has always been prevalent, it's gained greater precedence ever since the Vietnam War and Watergate led to much greater public and press skepticism about political leaders. Since the investigative reporting of Woodward and Bernstein at the Washington Post played a major role in the downfall of President Nixon and the Watergate scandal, more and more reporters have taken it upon themselves to aggressively investigate the activities of public figures. As you can see from the Pew Research data on the right side of this slide, most of the public still views this as an important role for the media, that news criticism keeps leaders from doing things that shouldn't be done, rather than keeping leaders from doing their jobs. Although, as the press has come under substantial attack, especially from President Trump over the past two years, there's been a noticeable reduction in the share of the public that still values the press's watchdog role. 